What's going on folks? We're down at DSK. We're taking a look at some things that we're gonna show you in a little bit. And uh, wanted to show the guys uh, my handiwork and see if I can get their approval. So they're over there in the corner. And uh, yeah, let's see what they think of it. I know you've seen cooler things, but you know, it's not so bad for a first timer, right? You went all the drive on the engine bay? <laughs> yeah. Yep. The heart of gold. You know, it's, it's so funny, it's, it sounds similar to the 302, but it's just like, it doesn't have that, it's just different tone. Right. Yeah. Well, so, like when I had the mufflers on it, yeah. it sounded just like the 302, and I was really disappointed. I was like, I was upset. So I actually went and I, um, you know how the mufflers have that, that mesh on the inside? Yeah. I just took pipe and I cut it in half, and I just covered the whole mesh up. Okay. So now it's essentially a straight pipe. But, uh, it's not as loud as I think. Yeah. It gets loud, but it, it stays reasonable when you're cruising around. That's some late nights for you to get that back on the road, huh? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's that effort. That's that oh, yeah. I was, I, was, I was ready to drive it, man. So what I came here to see, man, I want to see the two-door Maxima. Oh, yeah, that old stinker. Oh, yeah. It's been a long time. I've just been staring at it for a while, man. Dude, this is so clean. Look at this. I don't even believe it. All right, guys, so this is a preview of the next project car that's coming to Stu's garage, but um, it had to stop off at uh, DSK because this thing was in uh, in really like nasty condition. It had really good parts on it, but the uh, all the work done was just really garbage, and um, I didn't want to mess with it, so we brought it here. So you'll see this coming up in Stu's garage. This is X, he's the owner. And uh, man, this is so clean. Like, got silicone on it. Engine bay's been redone. You guys resprayed the engine bay, right? Yeah, just yeah. the front. But the craziest part is that's his old pipe. Yeah, and you guys like rewelded yeah, that. All that, that rusty shit, dude. Yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna try and dig up some uh, before and after video, like when this thing's ready to come out, so you guys can see the uh, headers are safety wired. Like that's completely legit right there. This is awesome. All right, man. Let's go see your car. Oh, all right. Goes key mar. The, uh, body what do you say? Seth should be over here explaining how he did all the oh, okay. Right we'll we'll bring him over here in a minute, but yeah. So basically, this is the S14. You can see it, and it's got a central front end on it that they've custom built the bumper for. So that's and the, a S14 bumper. Uh huh. Uh, E13 grill and headlights and corner lights. Uh huh. Uh, one piece bumper now. And then it's got the KA turbo in there. Right. We've shown you this car before, but it didn't have the front end on it. This thing is so close to getting done. I can't wait to see this thing hit the streets. So here's another look at the Grand National shop car. It's got a big tank of nitrous. He was just telling me he uses the nitrous to actually control his air shifter, which is pretty cool. And of course, give the engine a boost. Um, everything in here has all been header wrapped. I don't really know a whole lot about what I'm looking at, but those are some really fat injectors. Stuff you don't see every day. Very clean Grand National. Because I don't know how anybody's putting them on lately, because I put them on wet, dude. Uh, you oh, guys, really? You guys put no, them I, them just, on? I just stick them on. Okay. Yeah, so we got see how it goes. the DSK badge of honor. Because these guys have done some awesome welding for me. If you can remember, they uh, they bailed me out when uh, I had that header fitment issue. So I guess I'm officially DSK worthy. Or we're or either that or we're drift fox worthy. Yeah, I think it's that. I think it's that way. I think we're since you're in the hood in Baltimore, we're drift fox worthy. Yeah, <laughs> that works too. I love it. Making power. And it fits the theme. Cool. Very regal. Appreciate it, guys. A king. All right, folks. Um, wasn't enough in the video, so we stopped over at Thomas's house. And um, uh, Thomas today is putting a 6 cell into know, the Miata. I know damn well you're going to release this video before I release mine. <laughs> I got too much crap going on. Your shit's gonna it's be tomorrow. Yeah, possibly. 
I don't know, maybe Monday. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the uh, Miata is ready to accept the new engine. Um, I don't know. Thomas is pretty much sick of the LS1 life because that's what he had over there. And uh -huh. um, yeah. So basically, yeah, it's going in. <laughs> I don't even need to talk, I'll just let him talk and I'll Yeah, talk. but you guys remember Thomas, every car that he has is LS swapped. And, um, yep, there's a camera over my shoulder. There we go. Now, um, <laughs> I see you looking at me, looking at you. Oh, okay. <laughs> we accepted the crap out of this. Yep. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we're going to get to dropping some engines. Motor's dropping. I don't remember how, to, how we took it apart. I didn't take any video when we took it apart either, did, it, did I? Hey, there he is. Justin. Hey, what's up, Justin? What's up? Truck club, crap. Morning, might be the same thing. Awesome. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a whole different cam. I think there was an issue with that cam. It's the only thing that makes any fucking sense. No shit. I agree, but I think there was other things that are wrong. Thank you. I don't think it's that tough. Okay, well, let's drop them over here. Yeah. I don't, I think, hopefully, the fucking line is not resting on the exhaust, and if it is, I don't think it's going to be as bad <laughs> as it was before. You can always wrap it in exhaust wrap, too. The exhaust is wrapped in exhaust wrap. Yeah, well, I, I wrap my clutch line in exhaust wrap. Yeah. As slow as I can. Make sure that oil line goes on the inside of that. It's going there. I was tightening it by accident. <laughs> huh? Alright, oh. I think we're happy. Uh, yeah, frame rail. Alright, so the motor's almost in. We've got the headers lined up. Obviously, um, this is V8. It was never meant to be here, but it actually fits pretty well. Fingers crossed this one actually fucking works. Yeah. All right, so we're going to leave Thomas to uh, deal with his header issues. And uh, that's going to be it for the video. So we're going to say peace out to everybody. Bye. All right, see y'all. See ya.